four squares, what's the area of the blue triangle? The formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half bh. But remember you can choose any side of the triangle to be the base, as long as you take the height to be perpendicular to that specific base. We'll choose this short side to be the triangle's base. It may seem like an odd choice, but if we look at the triangle from this point of view, it makes it easier to see how to draw the base and the height. Keep this visual in mind as we flip it back to its original position. Now as long as we make sure the height is perpendicular to the base, it doesn't matter where we start measuring it from. Any line on this track parallel to the base has a length equal to the triangle's height. In particular, that means the height of the triangle is equivalent to the diagonal of the medium square. The side length of the smallest square is the square root of 5, and since the diagonal of a square forms a 45-45-90 triangle, we know that the hypotenuse is the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. The side length of the adjacent square to the right is double the length of the small square, so it's 2 times the square root of 5, making the diagonal of the square 2 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. Now that we have the lengths of the base and height of the blue triangle, we can find its area, which is 10. But before we go, the astute mathematicians among you may have noticed an even easier way to solve this problem. Because when you shear a triangle by sliding its points along a line parallel to their opposite sides, the area of the original triangle remains the same as that of the sheared triangle. We can shear the top right point of the triangle, followed by the leftmost point, to create a triangle with an equal area that's much easier to calculate. Remember the side length of this square is 2 times the square root of 5. Now, all we have to do is substitute that into our formula, and we find once again that the triangle's area is in fact 10.